Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ned, welcome back to another one of my Discord.js bot code tutorial series. Today we're going to be doing a, I guess you could call it a custom prefix command. Basically we're to give server owners or admins or whatever the access to change the prefix for your bot on their server. Um, we're going to be saving these uh, variables in a file, a JSON file. Oops, not that one. I already have it open. Prefixes.json. Just go ahead and make sure you have some empty curly brackets here. That way it doesn't throw any errors and then we'll overwrite it later. So let's go ahead and dig right into this code. Um, so we're basically just going to be changing the way it sets the variable prefix, at least as far as the index.js. Um, I've already set up a file over here. It's going to have this basic template and then it's going to have FS and Discord on it because we will be using file systems on this. So let's go ahead and start changing the code here. Basically, we're going to set it up. Uh, so if the uh, we're going to be checking the message .guild of the message and this is going to be in the message event. So uh, message .guild ID and if that exists in here, if it doesn't, it's going to set it a uh, variable of the the default. Uh, prefix yeah all right so let's go ahead and dig right into this code uh, first one you need to get the file so let prefixes equal json dot parse fs dot read file sync and then we're gonna go ahead and point it to that file json and then we're gonna give that file encoding type so now we need to check if the um, guild already has a prefix set up. So if it does not have a prefix with an array message.guild.id, then we're going to set it one. So prefixes message.guild.id. And sorry, these are normal brackets. I don't know if that's big enough for any more. So we'll make it a little bigger. And then we're going to equal that to prefixes bot config dot prefix so now that that is done make sure you put your semicolon um, and now we're just going to set prefix equal to prefixes message dot guild dot id and then outside the brackets dot prefixes all right so basically that should work i already have my powershell open we're going to go ahead and test this by doing node index.js, hit enter. That's right, you don't need a semicolon there. All right, so let me save that. Let's try that again. All right, so if this works, I can set a test message and I can go back here. All right, so that's right. Um, we're not setting, so we can go ahead and do console.log prefix. That'll show us if it's setting it or not. So let's try that again. Sorry about that. Test. All right, so there it is. It's showing us our prefix. Um, we can go ahead and get rid of that code. Um, I forgot we aren't saving it to the file in this one. There's no need to. We just set it to the default one. What? what did I delete? All right, there we go. So delete both those lines. We're good now. Um, the main file is set up. Let's go ahead and get the command set up. So I'm going to go ahead. Well, we can leave that open. But open this. Yeah, so we're going to need to do a lot of the same stuff here. Uh, first thing I want to do is if message, if not message dot member dot has permission and we want to set this permission pretty high. So we're going to do manage server. And then we're going to return message dot reply. No, no, no. Or something simple like that for now. Um, so if they do have permission, we can go ahead and start checking a couple things. So if args zero does not exist, or uh, let's say args zero is equal to help, we can go ahead and return the usage. Uh, message dot reply usage uh, prefix 
and we can put desired prefix here. Yeah, something simple like that. All right. So now we need to go ahead and set the, well, actually, we need to read the file again. So let prefixes equal JSON dot parse fs dot read file sync and then point it to that same file prefixes dot json utf8 again and then we need to go ahead and set the so since we have the prefixes set up we can go ahead and look inside that object prefixes message dot guild dot id equal to prefixes and we're going to set it to arg0 now we need to write the file so fs write file and point it to that file prefixes json and now we need to do json.stringify and then we're going to give it that object back prefixes and now we're going to check for some errors so error arrow function if error exists oops f console dot log error all right so now let's go to make a pretty nice embed or a pretty a pretty pretty embed yeah that's what i was going for so let s embed equal new discord dot rich embed go ahead and let's give it some color ff9900 I think that's just an orange set title um, prefix set and then set description did I misspell that? no we're good and we'll just make it so we can use an object by using backticks um, set to and we can put an object here arg0 so let's go ahead and send that embed real quick and we go ahead and check and make sure everything works. All right. So go ahead and stop the bot for now, relaunch it. All right. So the smallest things can kill you. Um, we forgot a comma after json.stringify uh, parentheses prefixes. So be sure to add that. I'll make sure to make a note of it to add that little snippet earlier in the code whenever I'm writing this originally. But yeah, so now that we figure that one out, we should be able to set the prefix. So let's go ahead and set the prefix. Currently, it is just an exclamation point. Now let's set it to a question mark. All right, so prefix, and it works. All right, so um, now you can go ahead and go through and make it so it reads from... Uh, or you can just pass that through actually on one of the these arguments up here and just add say prefix but be sure and then you can do say over here let's make these some back ticks and you could do let's see if I can think here we could do prefix you might have to do a little bit more setting up than that but that's going to get you through that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Uh, if you did, go ahead and leave that like. If you have any questions, feel free to join our Discord. If you have any concerns, comments, whatever, leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the ne next episode. See you guys later.